this is at uh, on the fourth of July, and it's at uh, a Walmart in Texas. At a Walmart in Texas. And, oh, excuse me, it's actually the Saturday. It was the day before. Okay, all right. It's the four. It's the third. Well, at least you don't have people working on the holiday, even though I'm sure they had people working on the holiday. But here it is, uh, July third, Texas Walmart. Yeah, you know, nothing, there really is probably nothing more American than like singing this weird, creepy cultish song about the U.S. to a bunch of minimum wage captive audience uh, employees who are working on a holiday weekend, right? I, guess I love the boundaries. fact that it happens in a place where, incidentally, probably none of those products are made in the United States. Um, but, um, it, but in just sort of like the most sort of consumer- oriented you know you're at a picnic on july 4th weekend i don't know that i would break into the national anthem but i can understand that people do and and um you know whatever floats your boat but to do it because you saw one of the many flags that they're hawking that undoubtedly made in china uh at the walmart and you start to belt out that song and everybody stops um I am, I am, uh, I, that's, uh, that's something I hadn't seen before, but, but let me just, can you imagine if somebody didn't sing it, if somebody just walked right through that crowd of people, that would have been me and I would have yeah. stole a TV or something like that's what I mean, right? Like get out of there. Um, but, but the, the, the point really. being that if it were liberals doing this, let's say, Right. Or this was happening. Like if there was some version of this, like Chinese Americans singing well, I, my point. No, my point is, is that the, this is, this is what conservatives would perceive as being oppressive. Like, you know, to us, we watch it. It's a little bit amusing. It is a little bit ironic that they're doing it surrounded by products that were not made in the United States. It's very performative. If people were really concerned with promoting the United States, they'd be walking around and boycotting half of that stuff and saying, we're not going to do this until you raise wages for Americans and until you start, um, you know, not buying all your stuff in China. I mean, it, but that type of performative thing becomes so oppressive to the right. The idea that, like, you know, if it was wokeism, if they were in there even talking about, you know, um, uh, e equality or uh, that you should, um, you know, any type of protest becomes oppressive. Uh, whereas this is just supposed to be like, you know, this is what real Americans do. Am I making sense here? I'm trying to like, the I mirror was... image of this becomes yeah. an oppressive complaint for conservatives. And I guarantee you there will be some conservative show that complains about how non-Texas Americans are mocking this, that they're doing it in the Walmart. And that is the oppression that people are suffering. It already got to that point. Patriot, that's, where, that that's point? where the timeline got to already. Yep. Oh, it did? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, oh. I, I, I thought it was going to be... I was slow on the prediction. From the new Walmart Where, commercial. Yeah, who has not, who is complaining about the reaction to that already is oppressive. Well, the, the, the person who uploaded it was saying that they were, it was incredibly cruel for, and totally typical of libs to get triggered and make fun of this, this performative exercise. I think that's part of what it is that bothers me too, right? Is like, there, there's this, 
sense that it's inherently authentic when really it's one brainwashing and two like like look how american i am i'm gonna stand here tearfully put my hand over my my heart and stand at attention and stop what i'm doing because i just have to have to show how devoted i am to the country i mean cut to north korea where people have to display you know how they uh, are are as devoted as possible to the leader and cry etc and americans will make fun of that all they all they they want to um people have made this point already but that's that's at least there's a sense of fear yeah with their like we cut off camera and many of them are are you know understand that they have to perform to survive whereas the real brainwashing is is the consumers who are so passionate about going to walmart and leaning against their you know, sugar cookies and, and, you know, one guy has his hand on the wrong. <laughs> it's like, he had to stop. He has his hand full. He's like, I got to stop what I'm doing. I'm about to drop my case of Mountain Dew. I have to, I'm being moved. I mean, I see this as the next Walmart uh, video. Like, you know how they always do these patriotic um, support our troops videos. And, like, this is the cut at the end after they talk about how they've given like $2 to some troop fund that they actually get tax breaks from. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw, where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.